Greetings fellow mathematicians. Let's talk about the mathematics that children will learn in Year 6. In Year 6, children will continue to investigate addition and subtraction of up to five digit numbers using place value. They will also continue to investigate multiplication and division using the distributive property for division and relating division to fractions of single digit numbers and multiplying by two digit numbers. They will also solve problems involving addition and subtraction and multiplication and division. They will begin to multiply and divide by powers of 10 recording as both fractions and decimals. They will begin to investigate division as multiplication by a fraction. Up until now, they've been recording their divisions as, for example, a half of a number. So if they're dividing by two, they're finding a half of a number. Now we're going to investigate what operation are we actually carrying out on that number. We relate it to if we're multiplying by 2, the number is becoming 2 times greater than it was before. So if we're finding a half of a number, we're actually making a number a half times smaller than it was before. So we're actually multiplying by a half. So rather than telling children the of means multiply, which it doesn't, Having children relate it to multiplying by a whole number to make a number a number of times larger and then multiplying by a fraction makes a number a number of times smaller. They will extend their investigation of multiplicative place value to include numbers of any size and they will record numbers of any size using standard and non-standard place value. They will multiply decimals and divide decimals by powers of 10 and by whole numbers, seeing that it's exactly the same as multiplying a whole number by a whole number and dividing a whole number by a whole number because it's all based on place value. They will record fractions in their simplest form by dividing the numerator and the denominator by their highest common factor. In this way, for example, if we have, say, 4 eighths and we want to divide the 4 by 4 and the 8 by 4 because 4 is the highest common factor of the numerator and the denominator, what's often missing is the vinculum when we divide by 4 and divide by 4. By putting the vinculum in, we can see that we're actually dividing by 4 quarters. In this way, children can see that we're dividing by one. And when we divide by one, the number stays the same size, so we end up with an equivalent fraction. Children will also investigate diagonals and when diagonals create axes of symmetry. And they will also convert their length units, linking it to multiplicative place value. In term two of year six, children will begin to add and subtract fractions with related denominators. They will be able to change the related denominators into the same denominator by multiplying or dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number. They'll be putting in the vinculum when they multiply, which will allow them to demonstrate that they understand that they're multiplying or dividing by one which means they're not changing the size of the fraction. They will also begin to add and subtract decimals. Adding and subtracting decimals and adding and subtracting fractions can be done on a number line using place value. The nearest place value to a fraction is one and the nearest place value to the decimal will be the next place on the left. Children will also identify and explain square numbers and they will also identify and explain triangular numbers. They will investigate percentages, which is just another word for hundredth. So now we have three ways to represent hundredths as a fraction, as a decimal, and as a percentage. The reason we have three ways is because it's useful in different situations to represent hundredths in different ways. They will conduct repeated trials of chance experiments and they will record their frequencies. From this they will predict frequencies of future trials and larger trials and they will explain variations in results. They will also be able to 
plan a game of chance and they can make it either fair or unfair and recognize the benefits to the organizers of games of chance. They will record their probabilities as fractions, as decimals and as percentages. In term three of year six, children will begin to investigate negative numbers and they will solve additive problems that involve negative numbers. They will also investigate combinations of reflections, translations and rotations. A great way to do this is during an art lesson so that the children have a lot of time to be creative with this. They'll be investigating prisms and pyramids, their nets and their skeletal models. They will also be investigating the Cartesian plane. Descartes invented the Cartesian plane, which is why it's called Cartesian plane. And what it's done is we've always been working with a horizontal number line when we've been adding and subtracting. Now we're going to add another dimension, the vertical number line. Once the children add the vertical number line, we can now plot points anywhere in the four quadrants. Children will investigate the coordinates and they'll investigate drawing shapes in the four quadrants. They will also be investigating the relationship between cubic centimetres and millilitres. They will be conducting an experiment to demonstrate that one cubic centimetre is equal to one millilitre. The people that invented the metric system made this relationship. They'll also be investigating the relationship between a litre of water and a mass of one kilogram. Again, this was a relationship that was built into the metric system. They'll be converting between liquid units of measurement, the kilolitre, the litre and the millilitre using multiplicative place value. They'll be investigating two-way tables and side-by-side -side column graphs and they'll be looking at data represented in the media and looking for potentially misleading representations. Misleading representations could be caused by changing the scale on the vertical axis. They'll also be investigating timelines using scale. In term four of year six, children will be investigating the order of operations. Now the order of operations are not mathematical, they're just conventions that we all follow. If we didn't, we'd all get different answers to our equations. They'll start using grouping symbols if they want to change the order of operations. They'll also be investigating prime and composite numbers and describing composite numbers as the product of prime factors. They will then use this to simplify calculations. Children will also investigate parts of a circle and they will investigate angles. Now this has come down from higher years. They're going to be investigating right angles, acute angles, obtuse, straight, reflex and revolutions. And they're going to be investigating then angles on a straight line. So they will know that on a straight line we have 180 degrees. So if we place an angle on that straight line and we know the size of this angle, we can work out the size of the other angle because it has to add up to 180 degrees. Vertically opposite angles means that if we have a straight line and we have the angle going or the line going through the straight line, we know that this angle here is equal to this angle here. These are vertically opposite angles because their vertexes are opposite each other. They will then use this understanding to find unknown angles. Children will also be relating liquid units, the litre of water, to a mass of one kilogram. And they will be converting mass units using multiplicative place value. They'll be looking at timetables and using timetables to plan daily activities. So this is the mathematics that children will be learning in year six.